So in question number six, find the area. You have to find the area of rhombus whose side is five and whose altitude is 4.8. So first of all, what is a rhombus? Can you tell me what is a rhombus? So it's a parallelogram which has its diagonals bisect and has all of its sides as equal. All sides are equal. So can I say this is this side is five, this side is five, this side is five, and this side is five. Can I say that? Yes. And they are also saying whose altitude is four point eight. What do you mean? So by the altitude is the height. Height. So can I take any vertex? You can take any vertex. Okay. See, this is the common vertex. So this height is what? 4.8. Making sense? Yes. The figure is clear. Now they are yes. asking us to find the area. So if I draw this diagonal, what is this shape? What is this shape? So that's a triangle. Can you find the area of triangle? Yes, sir. Half into uh, breadth into height. So in triangle ADC, area equals to half into base into height. Half into base is what? DC. So first of all, write the name. Height is AE. Making sense? Yes. Sir. Let's put the values half into 5 into 4.8. So let's cancel them. 2.4. Okay. 5 into the 210. And this is 20. So 12. Is it clear? 12 centimeter square is the area of this particular triangle. And if you know one thing, in a rhombus, just try to understand. This side is equal to this. This side is equal to this. This side is common. So these two triangles are congruent. Remember, we have done this thing? In yes. class seventh. So these two triangles are congruent. That means, this triangle area and this triangle area are equal. So we can say, therefore, area of triangle ABC is also equal to 12 centimeters square because triangle ABC is congruent to the symbol is for congruency ADC. Is it making sense, Vebhu? <clears throat> yes. Sir. So this area is 12. So this triangle area is 12. So can I say area of rhombus, rhombus A, B, C, D will be 12 plus 12, 24 centimeters square. I hope it is clear. Yes, no. By adding both the triangles, I will get the area of the rhombus. Yes. Good. Thank you. Now, let's read the question further. We have found the area of rhombus. If one of the diagonal is, okay, 8 centimeter long, find the length of the other diagonal. Now, I guess it, the question becomes very easy. Do you know what is the area of rhombus formula? What is the formula of area of rhombus? Can you tell me? Sir, yes. ha, uh, sir um, half? Half, into, half into uh D1 into D2. Diagonal one into diagonal two that we have learned uh, in the last class. What is yes. the area of rhombus? We have 24. I'll put the value 24 over here. Half into diagonal one. So one of the diagonal is eight that we have read just now. I guess now you can find diagonal two. 
the problem was not in second part problem was there in the first part i guess 24 divided by 4 so this is 12 and this is 6 so 6 centimeter is equals to that Vibhu, is your answer correct? Yes, sir, my answer is correct, but the way I've done it is wrong. Can you tell me how you have done? Or should I check your answer? Uh, sir, I... Um, I uh, uh, skipped a lot of steps. Please copy, okay? Right now, steps are more important. Okay. Okay, Arun, any other doubt in this particular question? No, sir, I understood. Okay, copy this thing. Yes. Yeah. 